talk about this idea of how this digital media impacts the marketing mix. That's the, the same old marketing mix that we talked about before, the product, the promotion, the placement or distribution, um, and of course, the um, pricing. So here we have some things that actually are parts of digital media, which can enhance the marketing mix or be used to complement the marketing mix. Um, email, mobile phone, social networking, all of these activities, wikis, which we'll talk about some of these going forward, media sharing, video conferencing, uh, webinars, uh, all of these kinds of things enhance the, um, the value proposition that's put forth to customers. So it can be a quite significant um, augmentation of a physical product. You're augmenting virtually or digitally a physical product by providing additional things like how you fix things, how you work. When you buy electronics, sometimes you download the drivers to make the electronics work once you get it into your house. So the, all of these things could impact directly your marketing mix. For example, distribution. Because of the internet, there's, an, there's new distribution channels that are being developed. Um, people are, because Amazon is basically changing everything by promising delivery very quickly. Um, there's companies all over the country that focus on different geographic areas where you get same day delivery. Even the US Postal Service, as in, um, in New York, they have a service in some areas where if you order something in a store by three o'clock, they can get it to your house by five o'clock or by six o'clock that evening. That's a, um, that's a service that the United States Postal Service actually offers. But in many other services developing to do that, to get this notion that if you, you can buy it online and have it in your hands the same day, um, as, as opposed to you have to go to a store to pick it up. Right? This, is a, this is a real radical change, right? Because it used to be if you ordered something, it would take weeks and it would be very painful sometimes um, in order to get that product into your house, but not always the case. Um, so that's one area. The other flip side is Walmart, for example, is developing in various areas in test marketing and the like. Or you can buy things online and then go pick them up at the store. You know, we see people do this with groceries where you have your personal shoppers. You, they go out, they buy things, then you go and you do a pickup um, at the store. This is changing radically the distribution strategies that companies have. And, and old style companies that don't respond to this dynamic change are likely to have a great deal of difficulty competing going forward when you think about it. On the one hand, you can say it's it's sad that old business, you know, old family businesses, an old family toy store or something in a town or an old family department store or furniture store gets put out of business by these big um, national stores, national brands, international um, operations. But at the same time, these are the things that consumers are looking for these days. This fast, these fast transactions, um, very quick and immediate gratification. You buy something and you get it immediately or you go pick it up immediately. Um, these are all some of the things that are affecting how digital media is affecting our business going forward. The most obvious thing, of course, that one would think of is promotions. That is how you get the message out there. That's promotion. Um, this, is, uh, this is pushing additional uh, message, brand messages through Google and through Facebook. Um, in various ways, taking advantage of social networks, getting people to talk about your product, uh, promoting things online. That's in terms of getting the message out, but you also have a great opportunity for feedback because you can tell what messages people are reading, how long they're likely to be reading those messages, all that digital information is being gathered. This is what's called big data, data about people's using patterns, behavior patterns, what they watch, what they don't watch, how long they watch an ad, how often they click through it. All of those kinds of, all that data for particular individuals is captured. And it's not only captured in the aggregate, it's captured for you personally. 
So people in these large firms, Facebook and Google as the main purveyors, but also people within those organizations, or someone like Amazon, any of those large companies, they know Jim Hazy and what Jim Hazy is doing, purchasing, what, how, what sorts of things I'm looking at online so they can get good messaging to me, very customized and very personalized. So they promote only things that I'm likely to purchase. It's when you think about it, it's a, quite a revolutionary, quite a difference. It's so inefficient to put an ad in the newspaper when you don't know who's gonna read that. Uh, the fact that I might pick up the paper and see that ad versus sending something to me when they know that I'm online and they know which sites I look at and what sorts of, of content that I prefer uh, review, they can send a message directly to me as opposed to the average person reading the newspaper. Right? Think about how much more efficient that is. Then of course there's pricing. You probably see this. Different people can get different pricing on, a, on the very same product. How does that work? Well, they, they might know that I'm interested in a product and I'm not very price sensitive, so they don't give me discounts. They might know, they might know from prior um, interactions with me online that I'm very susceptible to a 10% discount, but I'm not susceptible to $10 off. Even though it's a hundred, um, it's a hundred dollar product and 10% off of a hundred dollars is 10. Um, is $10, so it's the same. They may know that I'm more responsive to a percentage discount than I am to a dollar discount. And so they send me messages that say, I'll give you 10% off, or they may only say, we'll give you 8% off. So they give me less and I'm willing to purchase it. Whereas if they said, we'll give you $10 off, I might not purchase it. So they can be very specific about the, about the pricing strategies. Um, offering discounts and deals and the like. So again, another reason that that the digital media and digital marketing has such potential to change the way business operates and which businesses is, are successful and empowering consumers to set expectations of what they ex what they want businesses to offer them, which sometimes can again knock other players out of the marketplace kind of a, um, an unusual situation. Okay, 